Money Pit is presented by Quick Crate Concrete and Cement Products. Quick Crate, what America's made of. Like us on Facebook and visit online at www.quickcrete.com for product information and easy step-by-step -step project videos. Making good homes better. Welcome back to the Money Pit Home Improvement Radio Show. I'm Tom Kreitler. And I'm Leslie Segretti. Well, spring and early summer weather tends to be wet and stormy. So now is the perfect time to give your home a wet weather checkup to make sure it's ready to weather any storm. Here to walk us through the steps is Ed Del Grande from Kohler Power Generators. Ed, welcome to the program. Oh, it's always a pleasure to be back. And it has been a very, very wet winter and, of course, a very wet spring. And that has led to lots and lots of opportunities for leaks. Leaks from your roof, leaks from your downspouts, leaks from your gutters. What's a good way to do an assessment and make sure they're not sneaking up on you? Up here in New England, we've had a wet, cold winter and spring, so I'm doing the same things at my house. And you just mentioned gutters and downspouts, and that's an important system to check in your home. Because if they fail, that's going to allow water to collect around your foundation, and that could lead to a wet basement, and that leads to big trouble. Yeah, you know, that's that's one of the easiest ways to stop a wet basement, isn't it? I mean, people miss that all the time. They want to, you know, spend a lot of money on sump pumps and dig up their foundations and put in drains and all kinds of crazy stuff. It almost always comes down to gutters and downspouts. Yeah, and you know what? And it, it's too easy, and I think that's why a lot of people overlook it. And the best thing that I found, and it just cost a few dollars, just put the four-foot gutter extensions at the end of your downspouts, and that will eliminate a lot of water from collecting on your foundation. All right, another area of leakage, your roof. Oh, the roof, make sure, you know, especially with the long winter like we've had, get a professional. I never recommend going on roofs. I don't go on my own roof. Get a professional, go up there, check things out. And if there's any loose shingles, broken shingles, leaks, have them fix it up and then get that roof nice and tight. What about your landscaping? I feel like this winter everything got so beat up. I imagine that a lot of your trees and shrubs probably have some damage and maybe even some loose branches. Leslie, that's another issue people overlook. Trees look great, especially if they're close to the house. They offer shade. But remember, those limbs can come down in a storm. So in the spring, it's a good time to also trim back those tree limbs. We're talking to Ed Del Grande. He's a home improvement expert and spokesperson for Kohler Power Generators. So, Ed, speaking of generators, let's try to explain the difference between what most people think of when they think of a generator, and that's the portable generator, the generator that you've got to maybe pick up at the home center and fill up with gasoline and take out of your truck and run an extension cord out to, and the newer, more modern version, which is called the standby generator. Can we just cover that briefly for those that are unfamiliar? Yeah, I'll tell you, I go around the country, give a lot of information for the Kohler generators, and the standby generator is the best system I've seen, because unlike a portable one, it's a fixed piece of equipment, just like your central air conditioner units will be mounted to the outside of the house on a cement pad. Well, the standby generators are permanently put in place, and it's permanently connected to your home, and it's totally automatic. So if the power goes out, you don't have to lug out uh, like a portable generator and set that whole thing up. The standby generator has an automatic transfer switch, It'll start up automatically and power your house. You don't have to do a thing. And it doesn't run on gasoline, which, of course, is very hard to find after a storm. When power's out, they can't pump gas at the gas stations. It runs on propane or natural gas, which is far more available. Absolutely, and it's a lot safer to work with because you're not pouring gasoline on a hot engine like you would a portable generator. With the uh, generators running on natural gas or propane, that's also a self feeding fuel. So once it starts up automatically, it's going to keep pushing the fuel through the engine automatically as well. So it really is a hands-off operation. Yeah, and you can power way more in your home than you would with a portable generator. <laughs> yeah, Leslie, that's, that's, that's a big point because uh, what will happen with the portable ones, you have to run extension cords to each individual appliance. With the standby one, it's just a different power source coming in from your home, so your circuits in the house really are going to run the same as if the power was coming in from the streets. And these standby generators, they're sized up correctly, so it will run your entire house, even your heating and air conditioning system. The website is KohlerGenerators.com. Head on over to KohlerGenerators.com. Check out the standby generators. If you've not invested in a standby generator, you really should. Once you have one, you'll wonder how you went all those years without it. It's very reassuring. Trust me, I have one. And to know that my power, if my power goes out, 
Uh, my generator will kick in and keep my house going means a lot. Ed Del Grande from Kohler Power, thank you so much for stopping by the Money Pit. My pleasure, guys. All right, still to come, if you're celebrating the 4th in the traditional way by, of course, setting off fireworks, we want to make sure that you know how to handle them safely to avoid a star-spangled trip to the ER. You live in a Money Pit.